Chapter 14, Truth Dueling is Magic A Rip in Time Chapter 14, Truth When Nitro Synchron is used to Synchro Summon a Nitro Monster, I get to draw one card, said Yusei. Now I equip Nitro Warrior with Junk Barrage and Fighting Spirit. Fighting Spirit increases Nitro Warrior's attack points by 300 for each monster you have on the field. Nitro Warrior Attack, 3700 Nitro Warrior, Attack Malefic Cyber and Dragon Said you say Dynamite Knuckle Jets of fire burst out of the large bracelets that Nitro Warrior had on its wrists as it thrust both fists forward punching through the mechanical dragon and exploding out of its back. Junk Barrage's effect activates, said Yusei. When the equipped monster destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you take half of its attack points as damage. Don't get hasty, Yusei, replied Paradox. Whenever I would take damage from a card effect, Malefic Black Winged Dragon Reader wrecks it to my opponent. Say what? Yusei gasped. As Malefic Cyber and Dragon exploded, the force of the blast knocked Yusei backward and he crashed into the grown-up spike. He shook his head to clear it. Nitro Warrior's effect activates. When it destroys a monster by battle, it can switch a defense monster to attack mode and attack it. Nitro Warrior, destroy Malefic Black Winged Dragon. Malefic Black Winged Dragon Attack, 2800 Nitro Warrior Attack, 3400 Nitro Warrior punched the corrupted dragon twice in the head and destroyed it. This time, the blast struck Paradox as Junk Barrage's effect activated. Life Point Count Paradox, 2000 You say, 2000 Whoa, said Twilight. If Yusei's first attack hadn't been thrown back at him, he would have won. Yeah, said Dash. Hang on, Yusei. You can do it. I'm trying, Dash, said Yusei. Not hard enough, said Paradox. I activate Malefic Tune. When a Malefic monster is destroyed, I can draw two cards. I set a card face down and end my turn. My turn. However, in lieu of drawing a card, I will use the effect of Malefic World and add a random Malefic monster to my hand. Paradox's dual disc shuffled his deck. When it finished, a single card was sticking out. Paradox took it. Not bad, he said. But I will not use it now. Instead, I summon Malefic Rainbow Dragon. The serpentine body of the massive dragon pushed through a portal just to the left of Discord. It roared and circled above Paradox. Malefic Rainbow Dragon. Attack, 4000. Level 10. Aw oh, come on! Shouted Rainbow Dash. That's my card. I activate Malefic Panic. This will summon as many Malefic Monsters as possible from my graveyard, ignoring their summoning conditions. Revive, Malefic Cyber End and Malefic Black Winged Dragons. Oh no! You say, this is the same move he used to beat me. Said Dash. Be careful! You say nodded. I activate Malefic Rainbow Dragon's effect. By sending all other Malefic Monsters I control to the graveyard, its attack points increase by 1000 for each. Malefic Rainbow Dragon roared as the gems on its sides began to glow. Malefic Red Dragon, Black Winged Dragon, and Cyber End Dragon were all absorbed into the gems. Two point counters appeared next to Malefic Rainbow Dragon and Nitro Warrior. Malefic Rainbow Dragon Attack, 7000 Nitro Warrior. Attack, 3100. 
Malefic Rainbow Dragon, Attack Nitro Warrior. Ordered Paradox. Over the Rainbow. I play the Trap Wave Force. Yusei said. When a Synchro Monster I control is attacked, this destroys all of your attack mode monsters. Nitro Warrior roared and threw its fists forward, launching a massive wave of energy at Paradox's monster. The dragon fired a rainbow beam that collided with the wave, but was pushed back. The wave struck the dragon and it was destroyed. Impressive, you say, said Paradox. But you won't get out of this that easily. I send Red Eyes Black Dragon from my deck to the graveyard. Rise, Malefic Red Eyes Black Dragon. A black dragon emerged from a portal below Paradox. Its wings and most of its face were covered in the black and white patterns of the malefic mask and armor. Its right eye, shining bright red, was visible. It hissed loudly as it unfurled its wings and claws. Malefic Red Eyes B Dragon Attack, 2400 Level 7 Now I activate Malefic Devastation, Paradox continued. Its effect changes depending on if Malefic Blue Eyes or Malefic Red Eyes is on the field. Since it's Malefic Red Eyes, you take 400 points of damage for each spell and trap you control. Then, since Malefic Red Eyes is the only monster I control, those cards are destroyed and I draw one card. Malefic Red Eyes spat out two Crimson Fireballs at Fighting Spirit and Junk Barrage, destroying them. The blast pushed against Yusei knocking him into the larger spike again. I set three cards and end my turn. Life Point Count Paradox, 2000 You say, 1200 You okay, you say? Asked the larger spike. Yeah, I'm fine, said you say. He drew a card to start his turn. Paradox how did you survive our last duel? Why are you destroying Equestria? And why do you need me? So many questions, Paradox replied. Very well, I will tell you how I survived, I am not the Paradox that you fought against. Say what? Said Yusei. What do you mean you're not the Paradox I fought? Did Z1 revive you? No. After you appeared and saved Jaden Yuki, I moved back to the point in time where I was to kill Pegasus. I succeeded. But we stopped you. You stopped a past version of myself. The Yuki that you took back in time. He had seen what had happened, did he not? Then that means... Yes. If someone is taken to a different point in time and the timeline changes, they will continue to exist. I remembered that you had used the Crimson Dragon to follow me back in time. I traveled back to the point where you three confronted me and observed the duel. When I witnessed my own defeat, I began searching for other means of fulfilling my mission. How did you find out about Equestria, and why are you destroying it? I came across this place entirely by accident. The walls between dimensions had begun to break down as I continued jumping through time in the satellite area, which was formerly Old Domino. I had no intention of entering here, but I discovered that this dimension is brimming with energy. So I made up my mind to use it. But what for? To destroy the future of our world, you say. Destroy the future? Do you plan to kill Pegasus again? Not just that. I will literally eliminate the timeline from the point that Pegasus began exploring Egypt, and then guide the future myself. Time is just another dimension, you say, one in which space exists. I will destroy the part of that dimension where Pegasus created dual monsters using the boundless energy of Equestria and its timeline. Behold. Energy from all eras is pouring into the singularity, the point of beginning for the universe. Do you understand, you say? 
I am turning time itself into the energy needed for the ultimate weapon, and then I will destroy the link in the chain that connects Domino City to the doomed future that I was sent to prevent. This will erase that future entirely, and I will stop Pegasus without interference from you or the other historic duelists. Paradox, you don't have to do this. I've already saved the future. Z1 attacked Neo Domino City directly and I stopped him. Then I developed a program that would prevent momentum from going berserk again. Why should I believe you? Even if you did stop Z1, that would not have changed the future. Paradox Enough. Take your turn. Paradox shouted. Yusei grit his teeth. Battle. Nitro Warrior, attack Malefic Red Eyes with Dynamite Knuckle. The Green Warrior slammed its rocket-propelled fists into the Black Dragon, destroying it and knocking Paradox back. Life Point Count. Paradox, 1600. Yusei, 1200. I activate the effect of Level Eater in my graveyard. Be reducing the level of a level 5 or above monster I control by 1, I can special summon it. I special summon level eater in defense mode and set two cards face down. Your move, Paradox. A round, red beetle appeared. It had a large, yellow star on its back. Paradox drew. Excellent. I activate Malefic Selector. By removing Malefic Red Eyes and Malefic Cyber End from my graveyard, I can add two Malefic Monsters from my deck to my hand. Appear before me, Malefic Stardust Dragon. A Snow White Dragon emerged from a portal above the Singularity. Stardust's face was completely covered, its wings were black and white, and armor covered its torso and knees. Now I summon the Tuner Monster Malefic Parallel Gear. A small stack of gears appeared through the same portal that Malefic Stardust had come from. Malefic Parallel Gear Attack, 0 Level 2 I activate Malefic Greed, allowing me to draw two cards if I control Malefic World and at least two Malefic Monsters. Now, Level 2 Malefic Parallel Gear, tune with my Level 8 Malefic Stardust Dragon. Said Paradox. The gears that made up the new monster were to life and the thing disappeared. Two stars appeared and drew black rings around the corrupted stardust dragon. Born from the threshold of the dimension of darkness, the time has come to lower the curtain of destruction on the stage that surpasses time and space. Malefic stardust vanished, leaving eight stars behind. They formed a line and a black pillar engulfed them and the rings. I synchro summon Malefic Paradox Dragon, shouted Paradox. A massive black and white wyvern emerged from the pillar. The creature rivaled the grown-up spike in size, but was far more menacing in appearance. Malefic Paradox Dragon Attack, 4000 Level 10 When Malefic Paradox Dragon is synchro summoned, I can special summon a synchro monster from my graveyard, ignoring its summoning conditions. Appear before me, Stardust Dragon. Another portal appeared and began spewing energy into the singularity. Stardust Dragon also emerged from this portal. Stardust Dragon. Attack, 2500. Level 8. Oh no! cried Fluttershy. You say, did he steal your card again? No, Fluttershy, said You say. I never got Stardust back from this paradox. I fought an earlier version of him. I don't understand, said Fluttershy. Neither do I, Applejack chimed in. If you got your card back from him, how does he still have it? Like I said, I got it back from an earlier version of him, said Yusei. And like Paradox said, he's from a different timeline altogether. After this one killed Pegasus, 
he went back in time to make sure nothing changed. But it did, so he ended up trapped in the current timeline. You lost me there, you say, said Applejack. Paradox said that time is a dimension all its own, like Equestria or my home dimension, Yusei explained. He's from a different time dimension, one that he got cut off from when Yugi, Jaden, and I put history back on course. That makes sense, said Twilight. Many others nodded in agreement. Rainbow Dash scratched her head with a hoof. I still don't get it, said the rainbow maned Pegasus. But whatever. Kick his butt, you say. He will be hard pressed to do so, said Paradox. Malefic Paradox Dragon decreases the attack points of my opponent's monsters by the attack points of all other synchro monsters that I control. Feel its curse, Nitro Warrior. A black aura appeared around Yusei's monster and it fell to one knee with a groan. Nitro Warrior. Attack, 300. Now I activate the trap card Malefic Overload, said Paradox. By returning at least three Malefic monsters in my graveyard to my deck, I can draw two cards. If I return four or more, I can draw three cards instead. I return Malefic Parallel Gear, Rainbow Dragon, Black Winged Dragon, and Red Dragon Archfiend to my deck so I can draw three cards. As soon as Yusei saw the two cards in Paradox's hand, he smiled. Just what I was waiting for, he said. I play the trap insightful cards of reversal. When you add cards to your hand outside of your draw phase, I can draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand. And I count five. Yusei just drew six cards, said Twilight. Now he'll have some more options on his next turn. Humph. It doesn't matter. Paradox snorted. I summon Malefic Blue Eyes White Dragon. Another dragon appeared behind Paradox. Blue Eyes, like Red Eyes, wore armor on its wings and a mask with its right eye revealed. Malefic Blue Eyes White Dragon. Attack, 3000. Level 8. That's not your card roared both spikes. How dare you do that to it? shouted Rarity. My deck is composed of the strongest monsters from throughout all eras of time, subjugated to my whims. But I am far from done. I activate Malefic Devastation. You had another one. Yusei gasped. That's right. And you may remember that its effect changes depending on whether I have Malefic Blue Eyes or Malefic Red Eyes on the field. Since it's Malefic Blue Eyes this time, all of your monsters are destroyed. Continuous Trap, Monster Chain It gets one chain counter for each monster I control, loses a chain counter at the end of each of your turns, and is destroyed when it doesn't have any more chain counters, but stops us both from attacking as long as it's here. Crisscrossing white rings appeared around all five monsters on the field. Clever, but not clever enough. Trap card, Malefic Claw Stream, activate. If I control a Malefic Synchro monster, it destroys one monster you control. I destroy Turbo Synchron. Malefic Paradox Dragon and Malefic Blue Eyes White Dragon spat out beams of energy that sliced through Yusei's two monsters. Since Malefic Claw Stream destroyed a monster first, said Paradox, Monster Chain will only last for a single turn. I set two cards and end my turn. Before you do, I activate the graveyard effect of Revenge Return, said Yusei. By removing it from play, I can special summon a monster that was destroyed by an effect this turn. I'll use it to revive Level Eater. Level Eater reappeared as Yusei's monster chain card vanished and the white rings disappeared as well. He drew a card. I summon Necrolinker, he said. 
a skeletal figure in tattered robes appeared from within a portal. By releasing Necrolinker, it can special summon a Synchron Tuner from my graveyard, but I can't Synchro summon with it this turn. I revive Turbo Synchron and set the rest of my hand face down. Your turn, Paradox. A small, green monster resembling the front end of a motorbike appeared before Yusei. As it did, five cards materialized behind it. Paradox smirked. Is that the best you can do? He asked. It is no match for the pure might of the malefic cards in my deck. You may think your actions are correct, Yusei Fudo, but they are far from correct. They only led to the destruction of humanity. I intend to fix that. Paradox, I told you that you don't have to do this anymore. Yusei pleaded. Z1 is gone. He sacrificed himself to stop the Ark Cradle. The future is changed and the world isn't in danger of momentum anymore. Is that right? Paradox snapped. Tell me, Yusei. What do you know about the disaster that wiped out mankind? I know that the Momentum Network gained sentience and... What was the name of the network? Yusei blinked. What? I... I don't know. Then I'll tell you. Its name... Was Fortune. Yusei gasped. You say, what's wrong? asked Fluttershy. It... It can't be. You say shook his head and looked down. Fortune. That was the name of the program I designed to keep momentum from going berserk. To be continued. Next time on Dueling is Magic. A rip in time. After revealing a devastating truth, Paradox closes in for the kill. Yusei desperately fights back and tries to prove to Paradox that he has evolved by summoning Shooting Star Dragon. It can't be. It can't be. But the idea that it was his program that caused the end of the world in the future weighs heavily on Yusei. Can he overcome his newfound doubt to stop Paradox's ambitions? Or has Paradox already won? Chapter 15 Evolution End of Chapter